in, y'all. It's Jolene Thornton here for your local RPME TV news segment. And today is special because we're doing an entertainment celebrity section. And um, because we're going to be talking about Celine Dion, who y'all know is my cousin, um, Oprah Winfrey. She used to babysit me down south way back in the day. <laughs> I've got some stories on her. Um, and Daylight Savings Time and Janice Joplin. So, let's go ahead with our first story. Ah, so excited! Celine Dion. Now, it was reported on a false CNN website that she had been driving a car at 95 miles per hour on the freeway and crashed it in Las Vegas and died instantly. Now, when my friend started posting this on Facebook, I was devastated. I mean, she's my cousin and all. So I called my cousin Toline and found out it was false. People suck. I mean, why have you got to make shit up just to get attention? Right? Oh, Lord. I mean, really, people can suck balls. It's hard enough for us celebrities to try and live a normal life. Good Lord, and then they have people making shit up? Stop it now! I can tell you from experience that crazy Canadian cooter don't know how to drive and she don't even know what a damn vehicle is. For Lord's sakes, she speaks Canadian. Come on, people! And now a word from our local sponsor. <laughs> Jolene Thornton here. Now, have you ever had really bad breath and you know it's caused from that one little rotten tooth in the front of your mouth messing up your smile? Well, now, there ain't no need to worry. I've got the new improved Double Hint Gum. Not only will it freshen your breath, it'll turn the rest of your teeth black, making that rotten one blend in. It's good iced tea. It's always good to have iced tea first thing in the morning. <laughs> Anywho, daylight savings time. Now, daylight savings time recently just happened. I know, shocking. In case you forgot, then you're an hour behind. <laughs> Anywho, here are five weird effects and occurrences that happen every time daylight savings times happens. Now listen up. Number one, more car accidents are reported due to changes in sleep patterns and circadian rhythms. I don't know what the hell circadian rhythms are. Google it. Uh, circadian rhythms because they alter human alertness. Now, I don't drive, so what the fuck? Number two, increased workplace injuries have been reported during daylight savings time in the spring, mostly with physically taxing jobs like miners and prostitutes. <laughs> um, number three, more heart attacks, again, within three days after daylight savings time in the spring. Why the hell am I reading this if all the daylight savings time things happen in the spring? It's the fall. Okay. Come on to number four. Longer cyber loafing. Now, cyber loafing, <laughs> I thought that meant you were on the toilet pinching a loaf while you were online on your laptop. <laughs> but no, cyber loafing 
is the slang term for surfing the web for personal entertainment during work hours, which can cost businesses thousands of dollars in salary wages. Flushed down the toilet. <laughs> And number five, for the daylight savings times weird occurrences, increased cluster headaches. Now, circadian rhythms, there's that damn word again. Google it! I got to. Ah, screw that. Um, tick away, circadian rhythms tick away throughout the body each day controlling the release of certain hormones that affect moods, hunger levels, and yearning for sleep. Now, when these rhythms get thrown out of whack, even by an hour, hence the daylight savings time, the body notices, which sets off debilitating chronic pain, such as cluster headaches. <laughs> All right. Now, for the weather, from our local weather woman, Janie Wilkes, and former stalker. <laughs> Janie? I'm Janie Wilkes. <laughs> and the weather today, <sighs> that looks weird. I don't understand. <laughs> I... <sighs> I just pooped myself. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Now, Oprah Winfrey. This past weekend, Oprah had what she called the biggest yard sale ever at the Santa Barbara Polo Club. Now, she had a bunch of her shit on sale and raised over $600,000. $600,000! Now, come on, Oprah. $600,000? And you didn't even let me know? For all the times that I tried to visit you at your home in Santa Barbara when I lived there? Well, I used to hang out at her mailbox. And I got nabbed a few times for indecent exposure. <laughs> you know, she's got to have a porta potty out there. A girl's got to pee, you know, and poo sometimes when it come 1.34 in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, Oprah, I still love you, girl. I'll never tell your secrets. <laughs> so, Janis Joplin finally gets her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame 43 years after her death. All I gotta say is, you keep on chucking, Bobby McGee. <laughs> me, 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 my Bobby McGee. <laughs> I know she would have liked that. Oh, and I gotta give a shout out to my girl, Sue Langley, who sent me this gorgeous little owl necklace. <laughs> I love it so much, Sue. Thank you, darling. darling. She thought I wanted another hooter. Who needs three? I got eight. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for joining me for your local RPME TV local news. Celebrity style. This is Jolene Thornton saying bye for now. Your teeth flat. <laughs> I got a rotten one. Making a rotten one. Making a rotten one. Making
Baby, I've got a show to do.